I'm from Austin, and I've been fortunate enough to see a lot of its growth. Left for almost 10 years. After leaving and coming back, I have a different idea of what Austin can be as a city. It's definitely a different kind of metropolis and a different kind of urbanism than uh, other cities are, especially given its size as now the 11th largest city in the United States, which is actually crazy to think about. The design motivation for the project is really to minimize the impact of the house on the city of Austin and the existing infrastructure of the neighborhoods. So that includes both the electricity and the water aspect of it. We really tried to answer the question about what makes Austin special and tried to capture these things in the design of the house. One of our answers is related to how precious the water resources are in Austin. The people here really value those resources and really take advantage of them. At the same time, we're in the worst drought that we've ever had on record. So there's this sort of dichotomy between really loving and appreciating water and not having a whole lot of it. So we designed the house to capture enough rainwater in most years to be able to be self-sufficient on the rainwater that it collects. And at the same time, to use that water as essentially a battery for this thermal storage thing and uses 20% of the energy that a forced air system uses. So you combine that system with the solar uh, electricity generation and we're producing more electricity at a time when we don't need it as much so we're able to sell that back uh, and provide electricity to our neighbors in the same way that you know Austin kind of has this sort of really social interaction with porches and um, it's a really casual city in that way and we've designed the house in such a way that it can increase the density of the city um, by 100%, basically, or close to 100%, without changing the character of neighborhoods, without requiring a whole bunch of new infrastructure uh, and new streets and new building types. Um, so we've done that by designing it as, as a secondary unit behind an existing house. We have a solar photovoltaic system, or PV system. So over the course of a year, it produces as much electricity as it consumes. The water systems of the house, we have a potable rainwater collection system. Um, to be able to capture enough rainwater for a family or three people living within the house, we have to capture off of the entire roof area. So that's the roof of the modules plus the canopy area. It's all designed to capture rainwater. The big benefits, you know, to generate your own electricity and water on your site are, um, I think that that's marketable. I also understand a lot of people that have established roots have become comfortable in the status quo mm -hmm. and asking them to invest in something is a big ask. Mm -hmm. Take building demand for something that there's not demand for right now. So it's not without its challenges. <laughs>